Hola amigos y amigas, soy James Matt y estamos un día más en Balcony TV Madrid y hoy me acompaña Felipe Cato. Buen día, Felipe. How are you? Wonderful, thank you. And you? Fine too. What do you think about the view that we have here today? I think the view is amazing. It's very inspiring. Madrid is a beautiful city, especially from the top is of this building. <laughs> nice to hear that. Uh, which song are you going to sing today? Tell me. I'm going to sing a song called Tor Torrente, that is a song of uh, my latest album. Okay, so go on. Ardo só de ilusão, frágil como vulcão, de agonia em milhões de vezes. Corre e olha esse mar antes de borbulhar, antes de devorar a gente. Algo imenso virá sem se anunciar, sequer vai revelar os dentes. Quando o santo vier, bicho, homem qualquer, coração quase que dormente. Frente às multidões, coração aos leões, mais do que qualquer outro aguente. Quando a bomba estourar e a sirene suar, estaremos pela torrente. Algo imenso virá sem se anunciar, se quer vai revelar os dentes. E o sol espreitar na janela será nosso corpo de mais que urgente. A vida se anuncia pelas horas e cometas E nos consome toda hora, espreita e sempre irá Coração aos leões, mais do que qualquer outro aguente Quando a bomba estourar e a sirene suar Estaremos pela torrente Algo imenso virá sem se anunciar Se quer vai revelar os dentes E o sol espreitar na janela será Nosso corpo de mais que urgente A vida se anuncia pelas horas e cometas e nos consome toda hora, espreita e sempre irá. Sempre irá. Se revelar. Abismos das sereias, força divina que move todo o tempo. Pela rosa dos ventos transborde na natureza dos abismos das sereias. Força divina que move todo o tempo. Pela rosa dos ventos transborde na natureza dos abismos das sereias. Força divina que move todo o tempo. Pela rosa dos ventos transborde na natureza dos abismos das sereias. Força divina que move todo o tempo. Pela rosa dos ventos transborde na natureza dos abismos das sereias. Força divina que move todo o tempo. Pela rosa dos Pode me natureza dos abismos das sereias, força de vida que move todo o tempo. Pela rosa dos ventos, transporte me natureza dos abismos das sereias, força de vida que move todo o tempo. Pela rosa dos ventos, transporte me natureza dos abismos das sereias, força de vida, rosa dos ventos. <laughs> it was really nice. 
Thank you. I, I gotta say, you are one of the a best example of how creative is right now Brazilian underground music scene. So, um, how do you feel the current status of Brazilian music? I think Brazil is living one one of the greatest music scenes of history. It's a pleasure and an honor to be among so many beautiful artists, and they we are a very united scene. We are friends and we are living in a very, very hard period of uh, intolerance. And, uh, and I think our movement and our, uh, our friends and everything that's happening brought us together. And I really feel that we are doing a very important thing, not uh, musically, of course, because musically we see a lot of wonderful singers and songwriters and producers and artists and drag queens and everything that you can imagine. But at the same time, I feel that this diverse diversity that is actually the, the most beautiful thing that Brazil ha has to offer um, is being very well represented by our generation. And this is a powerful weapon against intolerance and against fascism, fascism and against everything that we are fed up with and then we cannot put up with anymore, you know, as a society. And that's what we are doing. So do you think that younger generations feels music right now as a good way to express their frustration about the system in Brazil? I think music now especially uh, with technology, is being a wonderful and very powerful uh, way for people to get their voices listened to. For example, funk that has always been a, a, like a very popular and uh, important rhythm in Brazil has never been so out there because it's a simple and creative way for people to put their words out there, you know? So. Uh, I think we are very, oh my gosh, <laughs> this cold weather, I cannot reason anything. Don't worry about uh, that. No, I completely no, understand I, you. No, no, no. I, I mean, like, I think music has never been so important and art has never been so important as now because that's so democratic with the internet and with the technology. I feel like that's why people are just so scared about art because everybody's doing it and everybody's putting their in, on the internet and the, the diversity is something so... Uh, you know, it's something good for, for no. the health of a country. Yeah, yeah, it's really good for, for the health of the country. And I think that's a very, uh, oh my gosh, can I do it again, this interview? Because I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can do is maybe change the question. Because Let's I think, change the question. It's, it's, guys, I really, <laughs> it's so cold, I cannot reason. Because it's really thing. We have to explain that right now we are in the, in the rooftop of the Hotel of the Emperador in the center of Madrid and we are frozen because it's, ver <laughs> it's freezing right now. So I completely understand him. So no, I, mean, like, I cannot put my, my thoughts together, but that, yeah, m music is a powerful weapon and technology uh, has put this weapon in the, in the hands of people. And so I think it scares government. It scares the old society because minorities are using art to express now. And that's really beautiful. Tell me, tell me uh, more about your last album, Gato. I mean, how was the recording process? How you did it? It was a very beautiful r recording process because I had a lot of time, and I did it a lot of time, and I did it with my friends, and it was very personal. All the details. I've I've never had such a. Uh, it was very hand handcrafted, you know. So. All, all the little details of every song, of every little part of it, tells a very personal story about myself. So it was very symbolic for me to do that when I turned 30 in the, my return of Saturn. It was a gift for myself. It's a gift for myself for the kid that I was and the old man that I'm going to be because that I gave myself this area to explore all the imaginary of my of my references as a person as a gay person and that was the first time that I actually felt free to express myself on 
a visual way and I felt free to express myself on other type of poetry and, and other types of of textures and production it was actually very freeing to do uh, a work like that that sounded so universal because and I did it with very close friends of mine and that felt amazing and I heard that this is the first time that you are in Madrid right yeah the first and not the last of <laughs> course because I'm in love with the city so much did you enjoy it with the with the audience people were people were enjoying with your soul I'm sorry I mean, be, well, because you, you performed yesterday, right? Um, how was the audience? How was really it was amazing. It was amazing because what I what I love about Latin languages is that we are we cannot, for example, people don't speak Portuguese, but but we do get the vibe of the words, and we actually do get the the we have the same seed of expression. So I think there is actually no boundary there is not bad, uh, that big of a cliff be, uh, you know between spanish and portuguese so it feels so good to be so um i don't feel like a foreigner singing for you here in spain i feel like you know i'm with my friends and doing you know and being understood i felt understood and i felt uh, embraced and loved all the time in the concert and it was really amazing i loved it And my last question is, I, I love your style. <laughs> Could you please give me some tips about it? Uh, you can give me tips too. You're very well dressed. I don't know. I just put that. <laughs> any, any inspiration? Black and vinyl. It will always works. <laughs> Remember, black is always the best color to dress. So thank you, Felipe, so much. Obrigado thank to be you. here today. And I hope you enjoy the view. And now we're going to put a coat or something because, course, you know, we, we don't want to die. Take a, uh, dive in that pool right there. Yes. That's, and, a, good, that's a good idea. And get frozen forever. <laughs> <laughs> y a vosotros, pues nada, deciros que muchísimas gracias por estar, como siempre, al otro lado de la cámara. Gracias al Hotel Emperador por, por prestarnos su maravillosa terraza y habrán más capítulos de Balcony TV Madrid. Estar muy atentos a ello. Bye, bye.